so you want an old bike. Get ready, pal. I've only had this bike for two weeks now and already it was running on one cylinder, got that fixed. Now it has a little leak on the uh, inner primary seal uh, down in there. Right now it's not leaking, but after a while it starts running and it'll, it'll, it'll start dripping down. So that's the next thing we're gonna be fixing um, in a day or two. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what else breaks on here. <laughs> and then there's the uh, the whole waiting until your bike finally finishes warming up in order for you to take off. So it's, it's been a few minutes here already. We got some blue skies, partly cloudy out here in dirty Jersey. Raining all day yesterday and all morning today. Finally got some good weather. I'm off from work today, so took this little beauty out today for a little stroll and I thought it just might be a good idea to talk about wanting an old bike pros and cons about it like I said I've only had this bike for about two weeks now and um, quite a little issues here and there but at the end of the day <laughs> this is a this is a really old bike this bike is gonna be 40 years old next year this is my 1983 Harley Davidson FXR S converted into kind of a FXRP now with this FXRP fairing in the front. Um, we get the FXRP gauges right here on top as well. Super cool. Everything works great. Um, even this fuel gauge right here in the tank works. It's just off right now since the one at the top works really well. Um, this is just there for looks, but it does work. In case this didn't work, I'll just wire this up somehow and get that working. So let's talk about the pros and cons when it comes to either a wanting, buying, or having an old bike. And when I say old bike, I mean something from the 80s, something from the 70s, something classic, maybe something early 90s. I think there's just uh, a cool factor when it comes to old bikes. I've always had uh, a very soft place in my heart for anything old, any old type of vehicles. It's just like I'm drawn to it. Something about it, uh, there's that nostalgic feeling. There's just history. There's just a little bit about everything, man. And, and, and who doesn't want to have or carry a little bit of history with them at all times? Like right now, I'm, I'm, I'm riding on history right now. This is a 1983 Harley Davidson, man. Carburetor engine. No, it's not the stock engine. This bike originally came with the uh, shovel head. Later models came with the Evos after that. Um, I didn't want anything with a shovel head on this bike, and I didn't want anything with an Evo either, with all the issues that those bikes have. Um, I wanted something with a lot more power something that was going to be able to really rip around in and have a good time on it and be special. I wanted an FXR with the twin cam in it. So this has a twin cam 88. So that's why it is carb rated. And uh, this thing rips. As you can see, it definitely gets up there pretty quick. For being an 88, come on. Come on, really? Like, you, you can't say. You can't say no, it doesn't. Um, this is stage two, twin cam 88. Um, and it, it, it rides great. Now, will I have issues going down the line? Eh, maybe, who knows? But um, we'll, we'll, we'll see, that's yet to be determined. The bike sounds great. Look at it uh, at idle. Even though it has these ugly, ugly Vans and High short shots on it. And not to throw any shade at Vans and Hines or even the short shots itself. It's just these short shots look great. Let's say like on a Sportster, they sound and look great on there. But on here, it's like, no, I want, I want more of a classier look. 
So I'm gonna be buying uh, uh, Thunderheader Chrome out, obviously. Um, and just give it more of that nostalgic look. Give it a pipe that it should have. Now let's talk about some pros, man. Anywhere you're gonna pull up with an old bike, you're gonna obviously get a lot of attention. Older bikes obviously are not seen around as much. They're hard to come by, especially nice and clean. Um, so if, if you want a little piece to let's say brag about, I'm not a type of person who brags about stuff, but if you're that type of person, then that, that's a pro right there. Um, if you are looking, like I said before, for just a little piece of history, it's, it's an old bike is, is, is the perfect thing to have. Um, pros, you look cool, you have something cool, you have a piece of history. Um, you stand out from the bunch out there. So that, that's, uh, let's be honest, a lot of people who are buying bikes right now, you know, they, they want newer bikes, they want brand new bikes. Um, they want modern stuff, modern technology on it, and this by far is not modern at all. I mean, we're talking about carbureted engine here. Some people just don't want to deal with that. You know, we'll, we'll dive into the cons right now talking about that talk about technology some people just don't want to deal with the carburetor engine waiting around for that for that engine to warm up because you can't just turn your bike on and take right off it's not happening that's a little annoying at times but hey it's it's not the type of bike that you're gonna be on all day like this this is not the bike i'm gonna ride every day you know i'm trying to trying to get a lot of miles on it right now a lot of seat time I just got it. I'm crazy over it. And obviously, before the cold weather gets here, once the cold weather gets here, most likely I'm just gonna spend a lot of time on the uh, the road glide. Damn, it really ended up being a beautiful day today, man. Mid 60-ish degrees today as well, so not too shabby. Route 46, if you're from the area. Rule 46. One thing I wish this bike had was uh, a six gear. I mean, it's something that we can add to it later on. But, you know, I guess I'm just used to having six gears on both my lowrider S and my, my Road Glide. Another con. These, these older bikes are not that reliable man you just never know when something might go wrong you just never know when you might just get stranded on the side of the road so this is not the bike that i'm gonna be doing some long miles on to be honest you know i'm not gonna be heading up to vermont or new hampshire on this bike there's, there's just no way comfort wise and just i, I wouldn't trust it no this you know the type of bike i want for locally and my i go to you know jersey to new york uh, Jersey to Connecticut, if anything, Jersey to PA, just the surrounding states, but nothing, nothing crazy far, man. You're talking about an almost 40 year old bike. And even though this is not the stock engine, so it's not a 40 year old engine, uh, this is from a bike from 2003. So the 100th anniversary motor that a lot of people are into very special desired motor at that um the motor is not that old but i guess we could turn around here but still it's still a carbureted motor so you know We'll pull over and we'll do a, do a little walk around of the bike just to give you guys the uh, the looks of everything. You might see some wires over here and everything. We're gonna, we're gonna be cleaning that up soon. We're gonna take it up to, uh, to Tour Custom Cycles. They're gonna clean all this up and wrap all those wires up for me. 
I wanted to talk about everything that I got planned for the bike as well because there is a lot but I think that should be its own video future plans for the FXR where we're taking it another thing these bikes vibrate a lot no I um <laughs> there was a little clip uh the video that they were Jerry talking about older bikes and everything and he was like yeah man that that bike vibrates a lot I'm like well yeah it's, uh, that's another thing so if you're not used to being on a bike that kind of vibrates a lot right now it's, it's all right it's good I guess that first we can start it off but when you're up and running like right now it's fine you don't really feel that I don't feel anything at all right now it's basically just when the bike is at idle and I'm totally cool with that I, I just brought that up because some people just they'll complain about shit like that we'll finish doing the little walk around right now show you guys uh everything so like I was saying before it's uh twin cam 88 on it chromed out once we do the uh chromed out on the header it's gonna change everything up um it's a work in progress so that's another thing if you're gonna want to have an old bike you're gonna end up either getting it molested which this one is kind of in the middle right there but i was looking with the i was looking for a nice clean bike and to me th this is clean you know the frame is clean um original tins original frame um og fxrp fairing in the front and just um certain things that i wanted to have and th this has it i didn't want a bike that was already done because obviously i wanted to put my own finished touches on it and that's what i'm doing now um but we'll, we'll get into that video where we go over all the plans and everything um this had a plus so uh when jose had this bike he actually um had the wheels painted which look really really good um like that two-tone with the gold on it looks beautiful and um the seat i got a new seat coming in already from la para so a huge shout out to la para things gonna look sick nice little surprise i don't know if you guys might be crazy about it but it's a little wild like this one's kind of wild so it's gonna be pretty wild like this and uh, oh, you see, and there's that, uh, there's that leak I was talking about. So, stuff like this. You have an old bike, you're gonna be dealing with leaks, and nothing's ever gonna be perfect, but it's something beautiful, it's something special that, you know, I wanted, and this is it. It's gonna be it, guys. I'm, uh, I'm gonna continue enjoying my day. As you see, it's sunny out here. It's beautiful. This is my 1983 Harley Davidson FXR. P now <laughs> FXRS originally. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.